My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Habit number two. So, first, let me give a good shout out and congratulations to the ladies of the view for being abducted into the Broadcasting Hall of Fame. It's new to me. I never heard of it before, but apparently it's 27 years old or whatever. So, they got that today. Congratulations. And now, let me go to my um, emphasis on my point of video. So last night I put a video up about people falling from grace and do we really forgive them and whatnot. And sure as fuck this morning I woke up and Kathy Griffin has now fallen from grace. Excuse me while I eat my lunch. Now, I say this because there's a person that hasn't been discovered busting his ass to get into the entertainment business. Y'all can probably see the view in the background that's just being recorded towards the end of the show. You know, a lot of people are going to give Captain Griffin an ass load of flack. I'm not so much as not behind her. I don't respect what she did. But me, if y'all been watching my channel, if I still have my 25 fans... I do not favor Donald Trump. Now, you know, I got to get behind him because he's our president. But as far as I'm concerned, I can care two shits about the bastard. As long as y'all leave his kids and his family, except for the ones that's directly involved in the White House politics, out of the fucking thing. But leave all the kids the fuck out, because kids are innocent. You can't help with the family you're born into. God knows I wish I wasn't in my family, but I'm here. Now... I typed some shit up on Facebook and I stand behind it. You know, one, Donald Trump is an about racist. First, the first damn thing he does in the presidency is rescind an order that Obama put down to protect tribal people as Standing Rock. Nothing screams I'm a fucking racist quicker than, hey, that black guy put a protection up on those Asians. So that they can keep the land. And I'm going to do the typical white man thing. And I'm going to erase that Negro's protection policy. And take the land from the Native Americans. Like my ancestors did so many, many fucking moons ago. Now, I'm sorry if I just offended anybody who was white. But there were a lot of white people back in the Sioux tribe. So... I'm sure that they feel like that's a fucking kick to the gut, a slap in the face, a kick to the nuts and the ovaries at the same time. There was a lot of white women. White women were getting arrested for um, the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, the chick from Divergent, other people, people from my state of Virginia went there and got fucking arrested for this ass had to turn around and go against Obama, and y'all don't think I'm wrong for calling him a racist. Now, I haven't gone to the extreme. Of putting up a floating head of Donald Trump being de-hitted and all that. Because as a veteran, that shit's not fucking cool. Alright? And you gotta take some shit serious. But when we fall from grace, how far do you have to fall before people decide to turn around and say, Okay, well, let's forgive them. I mean, I mentioned Bill Cosby and I mentioned Tiger Woods while you guys were watching Mass Effect if you watched the other video of this. But I'm asking you, because I haven't been discovered... I'm pretty sure if I ever get discovered, I will fall from grace on some level or another, like eating that lunch sandwich. Still got some left. So, so I just wanted to get this out of the way before I finish it. But, you know, still got some left. Um, how far does falling for grace go? I mean, if you fall from grace, how far down do you have to fall before you can claw your way back up and society will finally say forgiveness? Everybody has fallen from grace on some level or another. Uh, not too long back, and if you guys aren't old enough to remember when Mr. Baldwin, who plays the president, went on an alcoholic tirade, he fell from grace. His wife also fell from grace. She had something go wrong. And then, you know, I brought up Sinead O'Connor. Uh, Tiger Woods and Kathy Griffin are the most recent after Bill Cosby. So when we're falling from grace, if you're a true fan, Will you stand behind me? 
when I fall from grace? That's basically the question. Video's over. I'm going to eat my food now, and I'm going to do some more recording. I'm James Williams. You just come forever number two. This is five and some change of your life that you can't get back. But I want you guys to think about that shit, you know. The Kathy Griffin thing, yeah, she was overreaching big time. But on that same scale, all of you who aren't going to be behind what I'm about to say, I'm sorry right now. Mr. Trump overreached when he took tribal land from a tribe, which if you guys remember, which I'm sure you guys probably don't, you probably can't find the footage because I'm pretty sure I can't because it magically disappeared when he became the president. But when he was candidate Trump, the first damn thing he said when Obama and them asked him about Standing Rock. I have no business ties with Standing Rock. I'm not going to touch Standing Rock. So not only does that make him a racist, but it makes him a fucking liar. Because he said he had no business ties with Standing Rock. He wasn't going to touch the Sioux Indian tribe. He wasn't going to do any of that shit. And the first two things he turns around and does is he gets rid of the shit that Obama declared to protect Standing Rock, and it was one more thing that Obama did, and he got rid of that too. And so, if you don't agree that this is slightly a hint at racism, then you probably are riding with your blinders on. So, what's going to happen next? He attacked transgender students and transgender people in general. He, had, he came right down on you guys. And some of you probably voted for this bastard. So, what's he going to do when he decides to take your rights as gay couples away? Are you guys going to still sit there with blinders on or are you guys going to wake up? Yeah, we're all chunking down Kathy Griffin. That's old hat. Get over it. But what about the other shit that he's done? The Standing Rock Indians, the transgender children, the meals that Miss Obama put in place. The things that he is undoing that was done, you know, I mean, you guys voted for him. I didn't. Why do I support this bastard? I don't. But there's nothing I can do about it but complain. Now, sooner or later, he's going to think he's Jesus. He's going to start putting out mandates to say that anybody is caught talking about Donald Trump's going to get 15 years. Now, legally, if I may mind you guys, the whole reason why America was taken by the Europeans in the first place was due to freedom of speech in their old countries. The Russians can have certain beliefs. Uh, Irish, Scottish, English, you name it. Everyone over there left to come over here and spawn us because of religious beliefs. And we fought and died so that we could have Buddhism or Judeo-Christianism or Christianity and baptism and all these other isms that endure with relationships of toward the one true God. However, you gotta remember, Native Americans were here first. Over a thousand years before the plagues came in, smallpox, chickenpox, they lived here fucking basically disease free. And we came over and fucked everything up. Now granted we all built up immunities to all these things now or we have developed treatments and shit like this. But if you're riding with those blinders on and you don't think that this man has done some racist ass shit, the joke's on you. Or if I may speak for the standing rock community. It's all fun and games until it's your fucking community that's in trouble. Remember that as you end this video. It's all fun and games until it's your community or, to quote ancient times, until it's your ass on the chopping block. I'm James Wimstreet. Come for number two. Be seeing you. Try not to fall from grace.